Oh, welcome, Wolf and Wolfettes. We are back with the brilliant Days Gone on the PlayStation 4 Pro. And right now, I am in my safe zone with no freakers and no bandits around. An old boozer over there, he's been through a bit of an ordeal in the last video. He had his arm burnt by a bunch of dodgy rippers. So he's having a bit of a sleep at the moment. And what we're going to be doing now is we are going to be heading out into the wilderness. We're going to be looking for our bike so we can put the new fuel pump on it and then we've got a working bike again and we're also going to head back to another place we've already been to because we need to find some medicinal supplies to use on poor old Boozer's arm because he's not having a good time at the moment but yeah I managed to find my crossbow in the last video which is something I haven't even managed to do in my own playthrough yet because I haven't actually checked these gun lockers very much but yeah if you pre-ordered the game and you've got the drifter crossbow it is inside this gun locker right here so that's where it's going to be if you're looking for it. Uh, picked up some bullets and now we're going to head off that. Now it looks like the sun is about to go down which is not the most ideal situation but I think we'll be alright, I think we'll be alright. So yeah, we're gonna head off now and we're gonna see how we do. No, no, his arm isn't gonna be fine. I mean, the biggest problem is infection, you know. It's a very open wound, you know, it's very bloody. It looks like something that's gonna get a bit of gangrene or something, you know. So not the most ideal situation to be in, but you know, it is what it is. I'm sure we could find some vodka to pour over it, you know, sterilize it, find some bandages and stuff. Everything will be fine, you know, but we'll have to see. Right, can I actually... Aim fall off. Crossbow bolts are affected by gravity and will drop as they travel to their target. When shooting at something far away, aim higher to make sure the bolt hits its mark. Oh, come on, I already know that. That's, that's bloody just basic knowledge of any video game or just basic knowledge in real life if you've ever used a bow in real life, which I think most of us have used a bow in real life, haven't we? You use a bow at least once when you're a kid, don't you? Where's the door? How do you leave this place? <laughs> How'd you get out of here? Enter a, enter a door over here. Oh, here we go. Oh, it's an automatic door. <laughs> I thought I thought this was a fence I couldn't get through. Look, why if I let me take his bike? I mean, I, I don't understand why we're leaving the bike here. Wouldn't it make more sense to put the bike in there? <laughs> Seems a bit unsafe out here, but you know, whatever. It's not my motorbike, is it? Right, let's... Uh... Boozer, are you awake? Yeah, Dick. What's up? I just saw someone sneaking around the safe house. What the hell? What's he doing? No idea. I'm gonna follow him. See if there's some more where he came from. Deacon out. Right, now I'm gonna tell you now, don't shoot him. I shot at him when I was playing this on my own, and uh, the whole of the bandit camp knew I was coming. So, uh, yeah, just follow him and then you can, I think you can do the bandit camp stealthily, which is a lot easier and you'll lose, you'll use a lot less supplies. But yeah, I sprinted after him because I thought he was trying to get away from me and he'd been up to some shenanigans. So I just wanted to stop him with like a gunshot to the leg. But yeah, it, it all hell broke loose when I did that. So just follow him. Yep, there you go. Right. There's a bunch of bandits down here to deal with, I think. Try using stealth attacks. Okay, yeah, all right. Drifters on the mountain. All right, then. Okay. All right, I've never used a crossbow in this game, so let's test it out. Do I have to hold R2? Shit. Okay, you just have to press R2. You don't have to hold it like a bow. <laughs> okay, I should have known that, because, you know, crossbows are practically guns. Ah, oh, shit. Oh, they're all alerted now. I mean, they shouldn't know where I am, should they? Okay, let's sneak around this way. If we get spotted, it ain't a big deal, you know. I just... Oh, no. Because they do work very well in this game. They are a little bit more smart, it seems. Are they coming up here? Oh, where the hell are they? Oh no, I think they've stopped now. Ah, here we go. Oh, I think that was a headshot.
How many have I got left? Oh, I've only got one shot left. But I think you can reclaim your bolts from dead enemies, but I'm not 100% sure. Oh, look at that. Mwah! I love this already. Right, I'm out of bolts. Oh, no, I've got one left. Look at that. This is fantastic. So you go in their guns. I went in their guns blazing like an idiot, and obviously I'm playing on hard difficulty in my own playthrough. So it was uh, it was deadly, and I used a lot of supplies, you know. And also I didn't have the crossbow. <laughs> okay then. But yeah, I think you can reclaim your bolts, but I'm not sure if it's a skill or if it's just it, if you can do it naturally. Like I mentioned in part one, though, make sure you loot all of the bodies if you're after getting the platinum trophy, because you need to loot. Uh, 541 items from human enemies, you know. So make sure you loot all the bodies. Oh, I just got a rifle. Oh, nice. Quick swap guns. Oh, yeah, I already know that. I know that. Okay, I know that. Oh, look at that. Oh, hell yeah. There's a hatchet. Oh, fucking hell yeah. Not got very good durability, but does a lot more damage than the bat, you know. And uh, I am a sucker for the damage. Right, looks like I didn't get any of my bolts back. I've got three rifle bullets. I don't think this is a silent weapon because uh, you can buy silencers at like the camps and stuff, you know, that you can use to for hurt someone and that you can use to make your weapon silent, but you need to buy them. I think you can find them, you know, but I think it's a, it's a bit more. Oh, hang on, we could probably get in with a pistol. Okay, lovely, lovely, lovely. That should have been silent. There's one more sucker hiding around here somewhere. Don't know if they're going to have their torch on or not. I mean, the problem is they could be behind me, actually. <laughs> oh dear. I'm feeling a little bit. I'm feeling a little bit edgy now. Right, I'm just going to quickly heal myself up because I'm. Uh... Oh, there we go. Medical kits. Oh, nice. You can make two different things now. You can make bandages and medical kits. Lovely. I'm only going to use a bandit, though. Uh, not a bandit, a bandage. Right. Let's... Oh, come on, Deacon. Oh, there he is. Shit. 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 <laughs> How does he not know where I am? What a moron. I suppose it is a silent weapon, isn't it? Sons of bitches. Stay the hell off O'Leary Mountain. Oh, plants. Oh, nice. Loser. I found the camp. Just a few drifters looking to move in in our safe house. Like we were seeing before, it's time to start thinking about heading north. Let's get your arm fixed up and then worry about hitting the road. I'm going to be heading to my bike, deacon out. Where's that guy I killed that was over here? He was behind this wall, wasn't he? Somewhere around here. Where is he? Where is he? Oh. But yeah, one thing I don't think I mentioned, because I had a I had a brief discussion about the camps in this game, but there's gonna be camps in this game, there's gonna be a few of them dotted around the map, you know, and they're gonna uh, they're gonna have supplies there for you. It's a place to save your game and be safe and things like that. But um when you go there and you're trying to build up your reputation with a camp so that you can you you can purchase more things you know better things and stuff like that, um, I think another way of gaining uh, increasing your rep because I think I mentioned that you can do quests and you can also hand in freaker ears you know several variety of freaker ears depending on the freaker type I think it changes the amount of reputation you get but another thing that you can also do is you can. Um, you can, uh, I think you can hand in like meats and herbs. So if you go out like doing a bit of foraging, you know, gathering up loads of herbs, or if you go hunting for a bunch of wolves or something, you can hand in the meat and herbs, I think, at the cooking merchant. And that will also increase your reputation with the camp. But I'm not 100% sure about that. I don't know if I'm making this up or not, but it might be the case. I think it is though. I've, I've, only, so I've only played this game a little bit, you know. At the time of recording this, I've only played about three or four hours of this game. You know, plus what I'm doing now. So, I, I ain't played a ton of it. Oh. Okay, here we go. There's some uh, there's some grumpy sods around here. Okay, I don't really fancy Tango in with any freakers at the moment. So, I'm going to try and sneak through. There's some 2x4 in there. 
But like I said though, make sure you loot things, make sure you gather things up because you need the supplies. Obviously I'm maximum on the scrap at the moment and I ain't really got anything to spend scrap on at the moment. But yeah, make sure you're always gathering in this game, especially if you're playing on hard. Because it's uh, a lot more difficult. Bad weather can affect enemies' abilities to see and hear. It can also affect... I didn't see that. But I think I already talked about this anyway. Like, I don't know how rain affects the Freakers. I know, I swear that snow makes them faster. I, I might be making it up, and that does sound complete opposite of what would happen, doesn't it? Like, you would think when it's snowy, oh, damn everybody would get slower. It's not the freaks. It's the goddamn rain. Why? But you would think you'd get slower in the rain, but I don't think that is uh, in the snow. But I don't think that is the case in this game. I don't know though, like I said, I'm, I'm only, only some bits I really know about this game, I'm not an expert, you know. But as I learn things, I will uh, clarify further in this playthrough, you know, whether I've got anything wrong and stuff like that. suppose I could. Are they moving around? Is he going to stay there? Okay, <laughs> I was worried then. Oh shit! Has he seen me? Gotta get to my bike. Getting closer. Is he? Did he? Did he see me? Or was he just having? Was he spazzing out or something? Like what? What the flipping hell? <laughs> oh, I guess he didn't see me. I thought the music started going all like proper crazy. Like I said, I've got my TV volume very low, so when people spot me, I don't actually know. Man, I'm. It's telling me that someone is very close to... Oh! oh, fuck. What did I do that for? What did I do that for? <laughs> I panicked. I panicked. I thought he'd spotted me. I didn't see that the triangle thing popped up too slowly. I apologise. That was very poor gameplay, wasn't it? I apologise. Oh, shit. I think that guy heard. This game is very quiet, uh, very scary when you can't hear anything. I need, I need to start wearing a headset. I don't wear a headset because I don't commentate correctly if I can't hear my own voice. I seem to talk weird. I don't know why. It's just a me problem. I just seem very dodgy. My voice sounds weird as well because I can't hear my own voice. So I just stopped wearing a headset. I used to try and wear one under the wolf mask and it was it was agony on the jaw. It proper like crushed my head there and broke my bloody jaw practically. But I stopped wearing it because it made my voice sound weird. The last time I wore a headset on YouTube was when I did... Child of Light in 2014. That's how long ago. <laughs> I heard my voice after doing the video and I was like, nope, I ain't doing that ever again. Okay. Do I want to take a medical kit? I think I'm alright. You've also got a pair of binoculars that you can use in this game and I think you can mark enemies, but I don't think you can do it in hard mode because when I tried to do it in hard mode, it wasn't working unless I was being stupid, but I don't think you can mark enemies in hard mode just to, I guess, make it harder for you because then you can't mark where all the freakers are. Sort of like Uncharted, I think. It's sort of the same in that, wasn't it? You couldn't mark the enemies on crushing difficulty. I can't remember, though. Been a while since I played that. My bike's gone. Fuck! Damn it, Copeland! Hey! You're from Copeland's camp? Where the hell is my bike? Hey, stop! Why, God damn it! Uh, okay, so someone's jacked me bike. I'm not gonna kill you. Stop running. Okay, uh, we've got to chase this guy now. You don't need to shoot at him or anything like that, but we need to chase this guy. If you want to read what they're saying, just read the subtitles. But yeah, be careful as you're running because um, there are freakers around this area still, and they will come after you. Oh shit! See what I mean? Yeah. I should have pressed try. Oh shit, I cut his head off. Did you see that? My stamina keeps getting depleted because at the moment I'm a fresh fat character, you know, with no skills, no talents or anything, you know. Once you get a few more talents, you can actually move a lot quicker. These freakers are dumb, ain't they? They're so stupid. I might as well kill them because then I get some more freaker ears, you know, and I can, I can use them at the camp for a bit of money and also a bit of reputation. I don't know if there's any other uses for the years. There might be. Ah, oh, here we go. This is one of the camps over here. But yeah, I think I think we just got to walk over. I don't think we need to sneak in or anything. Could be wrong, no. It could be about to get murdered. We will find out. 
That's a nice sight in it. That is a nice sight when you know there's a bunch of freakers around and it's raining. Nice to see a good safe camp. And also fire. Nothing better than a bit of fire, is there? I could make a nice picture right now if I turn on the photo mode, but we're not going to get distracted. We are not going to get distracted. Okay, so this is Copeland's camp. Martial law in effect. Oh, brilliant. Oh, great. Son of a bitch stole my bike. Don't know nothing about that. Gotta go talk to Manny. <laughs> okay, we've gotta go talk to Manny about our bike. Where are you, Manny? Oh yeah, see look, you can see all the different places already. You see over there bounties and you've got gun merchants, stuff like that. We'll have a look around here once we've done talking to Manny. Mechanic. Hey Manny. Hey, I haven't seen you in a while lately. You've been too busy to notice. Nose down. You work hard, they feed you. Yeah, camper's life. Yeah, camper's life. I read a book once. Zen and the Art of Bike Repair. You ever read it? No, I didn't have a lot of time for books back in the day. Yeah. I ran a shop. Farewell. Made all the grease monkeys read it. Being a mechanic requires great peace of mind, it said. Try working on an empty stomach. Out of focus your mind. Manny, I'm looking for a bike. Yeah? Oh, oh, uh, you don't want that one. Why not? It, it just came off the truck. I mean, some dumb son of a bitch left it out in the shit. Rusted up good. The road hard, too. The fool the road it didn't know shit about bikes. <laughs> Is that right? Yeah, that's right. Shot the hell of this one. I mean, we just partied it out. It didn't even have a fuel pump. We could have used oh, that. Man, fuel pump like this one? O okay. Like this one, Manny. O okay, okay. See, now when I said fool, what I meant was the fools that brought that bike in. See, they didn't tie that shit down properly, so they left it like rattling around back there. Hey, and... Let's talk. Like you had some trouble. You got hit hard last night. Really? I'm not going to talk at the moment. You can just listen to these guys having a chat. Some say looking for you and Boozer. Out in the shit, folks say a lot of things. Folks around here take care of their own. Going up days without food. Well, you see how it is. Lake not holding out? You get a fair amount of trout. Lake's fed by snowmelt. No one left to stock of fish. Gonna run out sooner or later. Like everything else. Oh man, I wouldn't mind having that gun right there. Whoo, look at that! Oh hell yeah! Give me the gun. Give me the gun. That gun is too big for a lady. You need a pistol. I'll take that gun though. <laughs> I will take that gun. Oh look, we've got Ezio over here. How are you doing Ezio? Oh hell yeah. Hang on a minute. Oh it's a girl. It's Evie. Evie Fry, there we go. Didn't think that was legal. Deer baiting back in the day. My old man had only one law. The United States Constitution. He can only see us now. America. Land of the free. We are that. Thanks for the uh, history of your family, mate. I didn't really care. <laughs> I don't care if you used to hunt deers. I just don't care, you know? Why, why is that relevant? Shush. Saw Leon the other day. Yeah? He was bringing me something. Is that right? Folks here in a lot of pain, Deke. Oh, Leon. Thug said that he took off. No one's seen him. Hmm. <laughs> Tell you what. You find his stash. You bring it to me. To me, Deke. You do that. Well, we'll see what we can do for you. The bike that your men stole, that your men parted out. Salvage, Deke. Salvage. All right. Mm -hmm. I'll try to keep that in mind. By the way, nice hat. What? No, this one. Don't you ever die. Now, hold on. Leon wore a hat like this, didn't he? Oh, cool. I swear to God. Don't. You want to do business in my camp? 
you start doing some runs for me. Oh, shit. Okay. I'm here anyway, what do you got? Now that's more like it. A group of drifters has been harassing my supply runs. They've moved into the radio tower west of O'Leary Mountain. Isn't that your backyard? No, it's not, but... Uh, I'll take care of them. I thought you might. Alright, fantastic. So, uh, if we do some missions for this guy, you know, and we find the stash that belong that Leon was looking for, if we go and find that stash, we bring it back to this dude, then it will sort us out with a motorbike. But for now, we have to do some uh, crap for him. Now, before we head off and to deal with those drifters that are up near my, uh, I guess, near my camp, so uh, probably it's a benefit for me to deal with them anyway. But before we do that, uh, I'm going to show you around this camp, going to show you what we can do and stuff like that. Then I'm going to come up here and have a quick sleep in the bed and save the game, just in case it hasn't auto-saved for a while, because I never trust auto-save, you know. Auto-save has been around since PlayStation 2. Maybe even PlayStation 1, maybe, but definitely PlayStation 2. So, uh, you know, it's been around for a long time. It works brilliantly, but I still just don't have faith in it for some reason. I always feel like I need to manually save. And when a game doesn't have manual saves, I twitch a little bit. <laughs> but yeah, let's, uh, let's have a look around this camp first. The bed that we can sleep in is, um, where is it? It's over here. So you can sleep on that bed, and when you're nearby a bed, you can save your game as well. But I'm going to come down here, I'm going to show you around this camp. This is pretty much what most camps are going to be like in this game, of various different types, you know, for different characters and stuff. Oh, yes. Right. Let's get down here. Hopefully I can get some bolts or something for my uh, crossbow. But right over here, you've got this right here. This is the kitchen. Now, I think you can give this person... You can turn in stuff like, um, like I said, meats from wolves or bears and uh, ravens and stuff like that. And I think you can also give him like herbs. Let's have a look. Meat and plants can be collected and turned into encampment kitchens for trust and credits. Different types of meat and plants provide different rewards. Right, there you go. So as you can see, I've got two plants, you know, and I can sell them to him. I'm not going to give them to him because uh, I don't want to. But as you see, I'll get, um, I'll gain three trust and i'll gain four cents and if i bring him like like that a bear you know which is going to be a tough thing to take down you're going to get 31 trust and 40 cents you know so pretty damn good actually pretty damn good but yeah we're not going to give him any of our stuff uh then if you come over here you've got your bounties this is where you can hand in the different types of ears freaker ears can be collected and turned into encampment bounty collectors for trust and credits different freakers pr freakers provide different rewards so the better the freaker the more rewards you get so you know this is probably like the last of us you know where you've got like normal clickers then you've got like the stalkers that stalk around and you've got bloaters which are those big fat guys that throw parts of their body at you sort of like that but as you can see i've got 15 uh freaker kills so we are gonna sell all of these cool. and get a bunch of trust as you can see we need to get five fares in camp trust uh, and then we've also got a bunch of new ears which are probably yeah they're worth less as i thought and then you've got all these other ones over here which are like undiscovered ones you know but as you can see you get a lot more trust and stuff for these things that might be infected wolves there maybe that might be infected birds I'm not sure what the hell these things are i guess that might be a witch maybe i don't know Oh, lovely, but let's uh, let's sell these. Hey, hey. nice. Lovely. Uh, what else have we got in here? Oh, here we go. You've got the gun merchant over here, where you can buy weapon upgrades and also ammunition. Encampment merchants sell guns, ammo, and supplies. If you have enough credits and trust, higher trust levels unlock access to new items. Purchasing a gun automatically adds it to your gun locker. Right, so as you can see, we've got supplies right here, so you can buy ammo. Then you've got your silencer for weapons. You can also buy some health kits, but I wouldn't waste money on those anyway. You could buy grenades, but once again, you could probably create these, so there's no reason to buy them. So that's that stuff. Then you've got your... Uh... Oh, hang on. Where's the, we where's the weapons you can buy? Oh. Not buying today. Okay, then. I guess, I guess he ain't selling weapons at the moment, I don't know. But yeah, you can also get guns here as well. And then over here... Well, Dick, Dick, uh, hold up. I just want to say how sorry I am. I, I didn't know, I swear. Do you have any idea how much time I put into that bike? It was a drifter bike, Manny. I know, I know. 
I'll make it up to you, I swear. I put together a new one. <laughs> you call this piece of shit a bike? I know, it's not... Look, I'll keep an eye out for, for more parts. I'll hook you up, I swear. Okay, and what about my custom gas tank, Manny? You know, the one that I got for my dead wife. You gonna keep an eye out for that one, too? Jesus, Deke, I'm sorry. Just get the fuck out of my way. Sorry. Drifters on the mountain, 100% completed. Lovely. Now we're working in Coupland's camp. If you press triangle, you've got the storylines, you know, you've got various storylines and you can sort of find out what's going on. You know, there doesn't seem to be like one big massive main story like God of War, you know. This is like several smaller stories with different things, you know, different characters have their own stories. Then obviously you've got like the main story probably about your wife. Then you've got stuff involving your friends. Then you've got other things. There's lots of like mini stories and stuff. Collectibles and stuff, you know. You've got a nice little trophy list been built into the game, which is always nice. And then you've got what's active and what you're up to. Uh, what else can we do on here? If you press the touchpad, there's various different things you can do. They've actually used a touchpad nicely in this game. Okay, right. So we've got storylines at the top, then you've got your inventory where you can check what gear you've got, supplies, and you can craft things and stuff like that. But you've also got, whoops, you've also got the map, as you can see, it's a pretty juicy map. Over here, look, infestation exterminator. Yeah, so we need to clear all the nests to get rid of this, which uh, there are four nests. This is where we was at earlier. And uh, as you can see, there's fuel here if we need to get any for our bike. Some more fuel over there, lovely. Oh, then we've got a mission over here to do, another mission here. It's a pretty nice map actually, isn't it? Look at this. Pretty damn nice. Looks like it's going to be very, uh, very mountainous, you know? Very mountainy. Okay, right. But yeah, if you come over here, you've got the mechanic and this is where you can like upgrade your bike and stuff. Oh, looks like we could take this bike temporarily. I guess. I'm not sure actually. Let's see if I can actually get anything for the bike. Camp mechanics. Refuel, repair, customize, upgrade your bike parts. Okay. So let's see. Oh, okay. So I need to get this camp to level one first. Yeah, before I can actually start getting anything decent, I need to get to at least level one. Yeah. What about on the other things? Visual. Can I do anything with the visuals? Nope, they also require more trust. Paint? How about paint? Oh, okay, that even that requires trust as well. Oh, look at that! Wolf! Oh, hell yeah! I need to get that! Man, that is beautiful! Now, we've got to get that Wolf and Wolfette, so that's what we're going to get. We need to get our trust to level 1 first, which I suppose that will be pretty simple to do. Nice! Yeah, that is, that is a nice one. Is there any others? That would be nice too. Not that. Where, where'd it go? I thought I just saw a fish. Oh, maybe I was being blind. But we've definitely got to get this wolf one though, haven't we? Look at that. Perfect. Okay, right. Well, I'm going to end the video now, Wolf. Well, that's the next time we will head off into the uh, woods again. And we will deal with the drifters that are nearby the camp. And we will also do the other stuff we need to do as well. But yeah, thanks for watching, Wolf. Well, that's... Hopefully you've been, you've been enjoying this game so far. I've recorded the last three videos all in one recording session. So hopefully you've enjoyed the last three videos. And yeah, I'll be recording even more of this tomorrow. I'll be, hopefully I'll be uploading this every day or every other day. But hopefully every day, but we'll have to see. I also plan on doing um, The Walking Dead Season 4. And I also plan on doing um, some more Mario Kart. And uh, I think there's something else I plan on doing too. But yeah. Thanks for watching Awful Vets. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Let me just quickly run upstairs and I'll save the game and then uh, I shall head off. Whatever. <laughs> I just ran past somebody and just in, and just completely ignored them, I think. Uh, where was it? The bed round here, innit? Oh no, it's up another layer. <laughs> Stamina depleted already because Deacon is an absolute fatty. Where is it? Where is this bloody bed? Ah, oh, there it is. Lovely. Right, so as you can see now, we can now save the game.
Lovely. Now, if you want to change the time of day, you can just sleep on the bed. Oh, I'm just going to close my eyes for a bit. There you go. I'm just going to close my eyes for a bit. Proceeds to stay in bed for a good 12 hours. <laughs> it's probably good I sleep anyway, because uh, when we come back next time, it'll be better if it's daytime. Although I look like I've just made it... Oh no, oh, alright, no, it is daytime. I was going to say, it looks like I just made it darker. There we go. So yeah, thanks for watching Wolf of Vets. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Like, share and join the pack today. Oh!